Hello, hello, Ryan here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to create an event calendar in Excel. With this calendar, you'll be able to select any year or month, and then view any events that have been scheduled within that month. And as a bonus, the current day will always be highlighted. Now, in part one, we will start from scratch and build the dynamic calendar layout that you see here. Then, in part two, we will add the event list where you can add events that will show up on the calendar itself. I left a link to part two in the description, and without further ado, let's get to it. The first thing we will do is set up the worksheet structure and formatting. Click here to select all of the cells, right click on the column headers, select column width, change the width to 25, and press OK. Then right click on the row headers, select row height, change the height to 20, and press OK. Then change the vertical alignment to middle, and the horizontal alignment to center. Now select column A, right click, select column width, change the width to 5, and click OK. Then select row 6, right click, row height, change the height to 5, and click OK. Next, select cell B2, enter in month, select C2, and enter year. Then select B2 through C2, bold the font, increase the font size to 12, change the fill color to blue, and change the font color to white. Now select B3 through C3, bold the font, increase the font size to 12, and change the fill color to light gray. After that, select B5 through H5, bold the font, increase the font size to 12, change the fill color to blue, and change the font color to white. Now select the range B7 through H7, bold the font, increase the font size to 12, and change the fill color to this light gray. Finally, select the range B8 through H12, and add this light gray fill color. From here, select the range B7 through H12, copy the cells, select B13 and paste, select B19 and paste, select B25 and paste, select B31 and paste, and select B37 and paste. You can then turn off the grid lines by going to View, Uncheck Grid Lines. At this point, select columns B through H, then go to Home, click the down arrow next to the Borders button, and select More Borders. Now for the style, select the slightly thicker line here, and for the color, select White. Then click this button to apply a vertical border between cells, and click OK. Awesome. With the structure done, let's set up the drop-down list for the month selection next. Select a cell off to the side, such as cell J7, and type in January. Then use the fill handle to create a list of months. Then select cell B3 and go to Data, Data Validation. Under Allow, select List, and for the source, select the list of months that you just created. You can then click OK, and you have a drop-down list to select the month. Now for the year, you can simply type it in like so. OK, next we will write the formulas that will make the calendar dates dynamic. So start by selecting a cell off to the side, such as cell J5 and enter the following formula, equals date function 
C3, next argument, match function, B3, next argument, J7 through J18, next argument, 0, close parentheses, next argument, 1, close parentheses, and enter. This formula calculates the first day of the selected month by referencing the year in C3, and then by using the match function to return the number of the selected month in cell B3. And with this date in hand, the next step is to select cell B7 and enter the following formula. Equals J5 minus weekday function J5 next argument 1 close parentheses plus 1. This formula calculates the Sunday for the first week that is part of the selected month. This way, the calendar always starts with Sunday. Now, if you would like your calendar to start on Monday instead of Sunday, all you have to do is change this one to a 2. And that's all there is to it. And once you have this formula, select cell C7 next and enter in equals B7 plus 1. You can then copy this formula over to cell H7 using the fill handle. Now the next step is to change the number formatting of these dates to make them a little bit easier to read. So select the range B7 through H7 and go to home, then click the down arrow here and select more number formats. Under category, select custom and then for the type delete what's there and type in MMM space D. This is going to display the first three letters of the month and then the day number. And if you'd like to represent the dates in a different way, I encourage you to experiment with the M's and D's that you put here. And of course, once you have it the way that you want, click on OK. You can then copy the selected range, select cell B13, and paste. And to fix these value errors, select cell B13 and change the formula to the following equals H7 plus 1. You then want to select B13 through H13, copy the cells, select B19 and paste, select B25 and paste, select B31 and paste, and select B37 and paste. Now for the final formula. Select cell B5 and enter in equals upper function text function B7 next argument quote DDD quote, close parentheses two times, and press enter. This formula displays the selected date in cell B7 as its corresponding weekday, and you can copy the formula over to cell H5 using the fill handle like so. Your calendar will now update whenever you change the month or year up above. Awesome. Now for the finishing touch, we are going to add in some conditional formatting to gray out any dates that don't fall within the selected month, and we will also highlight the current date as well. To begin, select B7 through H7, then hold the control key and select all of the other dates in the calendar as well. Once you've selected all of those cells, go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Select Format Only Cells That Contain, change this to Equal To, and in this box, enter Equals Today Function, and make sure to close parentheses. Then click on Format, and under the Fill tab, select a color of your choice, and click OK and then OK. 
Let's go ahead and add one more rule to the selected cells. So go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format and enter the following formula equals month function b7 close parentheses left arrow right arrow this is the does not equal sign and then month function and then dollar sign j dollar sign 5 close parentheses and that's your formula and be sure that you have the dollar signs correct and then click on format Navigate to the font tab, change the color to a light gray, then click OK and OK. Now, if you're having any trouble with these conditional formatting rules, you can always view and edit them by selecting one of the date cells, then go to conditional formatting, manage rules. You will see the two rules listed here, and you can edit either one by selecting it and then click Edit Rule. Then once you've made your changes, you can click OK and OK. And now for the finishing touches, you can hide the month list here by right-clicking on the column header and select Hide. Then rename the sheet by double-clicking on the Worksheet tab and type in Calendar. OK, that does it for part one, so be sure to join me for part two where we will put together the event list that will power the calendar display. So, until next time, I will see you again in the next Spreadsheet Life video.